Most students have lost almost a year of time in the classroom away from friends and all the in-person academic and emotional support that is so important. A local school district is taking preventative measures to help students who may be suffering from depression because of the pandemic. As Kimberly Davis reports, this new program is using technology to identify at-risk students. If a student is in a situation where they're really experiencing grief or distress, uh, that's quite extreme. We would hope that uh, we would get that alert and be able to take quick action. It's a new pilot program that could potentially save lives. Deptford Township School District is taking steps to monitor students' internet searches that could reveal a desire for self-harm. My dad committed suicide in 2001, um, and. If I even had a little bit of an idea that that was going to happen, I mean, I think part of me thinks that, you know, I could have maybe stopped him from doing that. Heather Sedalis is a parent of a high schooler in the Deptford Township School District. She knows Stop firsthand the pain of losing someone to suicide and is in support of the district's new pilot program. God forbid my, my own children, Jesus, I would want to know, you know, if they had any little bit of an idea to do something to hurt themselves, I would want to know. At the end of January, parents in the South Jersey School District received an email that the district would be utilizing the Lightspeed Alert System, a software that alerts administrators of keywords that indicates a student's desire to harm themselves or someone else. This software is being used on nearly 3,000 school-issued laptops. We've seen some uh, alerts that were, didn't really require follow-up, um, but it's good. We're getting the alerts. We know it's working, and we do have staff that's, that's taking a look at each one that we receive. The district's coordinator of communication tells me they have not seen a significant uptick in depression within the district, but the software is a good way to be proactive. It could be a, a life-saving situation, so we're hoping we don't have to um, have any uh, type of situation like that, but if we do, uh, we do have the resources here. We're told the district was already utilizing the Lightspeed Alert system to block inappropriate websites. The district tells me they're hoping that parents will start to receive those alerts soon. I'm Kimberly Davis for CBS 3 Eyewitness News.